Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, so people have been asking me today, where's my review of Venom, right? I went and saw it last night. People want to know what I think of it. Well, it's over on Three Buck Reviews now. I decided to separate the news and reviews and now make Three Buck Reviews its own channel. Be sure to check it out. The link for Three Buck Reviews is in the video description. Thank you guys very much, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And, you know, there's been a long gestating project in Hollywood, one that has been on the, uh, I guess, as as associated with several different people. And that, of course, would be Mattel's Barbie movie, a movie that, quite frankly, no one is asking for. And if not done the right way, it has the potential to set parts of the Internet ablaze. And actually, those parts of the Internet that would be on fire uh, w w would make me laugh my ass off. So by all means, make the damn movie. However, I have to say now that this is looking like it's a better approach than, than what we've seen previously. Because it says here that Margot Robbie is in talks uh, to play Barbie and that Patty Jenkins could direct. Now that that is odd to me, just off the bat, without even diving into what movie, uh, to what Joe Blow here is saying. Uh, Patty Jenkins coming off of of only having done one feature film before Wonder Woman, being nominated for a lot of awards with it, it, it grossing a lot of money, her cut, getting Warner Brothers to cut an insanely huge check for, for Wonder Woman 1984. Uh, and, and so she's coming off of two big films, uh, had that one, this new one that has the potential to be an Oscar contender, which you know they're going to try. And, uh, and then she's going to be in the talks to do Barbie? You figure someone like her would want to go do a passion project with her newfound fame and fortune. But Barbie? Now, I understand the feminist narrative here. That's all this thing's about. This whole, this, this whole thing is a feminist narrative. And I'm not disparaging against that. It actually makes more sense. I mean, if they got a guy to direct the Barbie movie, that would be very much part of that potential dumpster fire that I previously mentioned. So that would be funny. But I understand what they're trying to do here. I do. And so I'm not, I'm not against it. Now, it says here. It sounds as if Mattel's long gestating Barbie film project is preparing to take a ride in the fashion forward toward uh, toy icons, glam pink convertible, as it's been announced that after being in development for several years with Sony, the movie will move to Warner Brothers with I, Tonya and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood actress Margot Robbie to play the title character. Now, first things first, let's all let's all be uh, be thankful that this project moved away from Sony, which cannot make really good movies no matter how hard they try. Uh, well, okay. I should say that's not true. Baby driver was a Sony movie last year. That was actually really good as a person who never read the dark tower movies and just saw the movie or the, read the books and saw the movie on its own. I enjoyed the movie. So there's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Trust me. I've been yelled at for over a year on that one. But anyway, now, Mattel first announced they were partnering with Sony to bring the time-honored property to the silver screen back in 2014. After much planning, it was declared that in 2016, the comedic actress, and that should be very much underlined and highlighted and italicized as comedic, uh, Amy Schumer, would star in the live-action film based on Barbie's adventures. Now, the thing with that, though, and it says that it did not work out due to, due to Schumer's schedule. She's in jail right now, so... You know, hey, you could probably get her out when she's done. But uh, that that particular plot line, by the way, this is legitimately what it was, was a fish out of water comedy where Barbie lives in Barbie world. But Barbie is not what you would call the, the part of Barbie world. She's a she's an outcast in her own world because she's not pretty enough. So she comes to our world to discover her true worth. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. I'm not even making that up. That's like, that's that's what the storyline of it was, starring Amy Schumer, and then and then that and then and then it went from there. Uh, Sony announced that Colossal and The Dark Knight Rises alum Anne Hathaway would replace Schumer as the forward-thinking feminist idol, uh, which was a better 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 call, by the way. But then even Anne Hathaway has not been able to carry a film in a while. Not saying Anne Hathaway is a bad actress. I I quite like Anne Hathaway, but again, that was in 2016. And it got pushed again to like 2019 last year. We found out like it was just pretty much dead in the water. Now with the Barbie project moving to Warner's fans of the character can expect the film to take a little bit longer to reach the big screen. And again, no one's no one's clamoring at the bits for a Barbie movie. You know what I mean? If, if anything, if anything, they're not clamoring for a Barbie movie. They're clamoring for Barbie to reappear in Toy Story 4. That's what they want. They want that. That's all they care about. Um, now it says here that the Hollywood reporter who broke that the Barbie news this afternoon are saying that Wonder Woman Helmer Patty Jenkins is circling the project, though no official negotiations for the deal have taken place at this time, perhaps because she's in the process of filming Wonder Woman 
And they're just like, hey, yo, Patty Jenkins. Hey, yo, girl, you want to direct Barbie? You want to direct Barbie? We need you. We need you. We want to win awards. And that's what the whole thing Warner Brothers wants. Warner Brothers is loyal. They are loyal to you if if you work with them. So what I think is they 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 brought her in for 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 Wonder Woman. She did the job. She was handpicked by Zack Snyder. She did the job. Uh, it did really well. She was able to negotiate for a much larger salary for Wonder Woman two. She's doing that, and then they're going to back. Look, we we need you to do this Barbie movie that we just got our hands on. Margot Robbie is going to be a big player for us here. We want to use this as a vehicle for her. We want to speak the young females. We want to get that dollar because that dollar was what made Harley Quinn so profitable in Suicide Squad. And which is why Birds of Prey is going to be the all-female film. And again, I'm not knocking that. That's just statistics, right? That is the demographics who, who went to go see Suicide Squad. They want that, obviously. Uh, and I get that entirely. Now, uh, with any luck, the big screen adventures of Barbie and her anatomically ambiguous friends will get a solid plan under their plastic plump pumps real soon so that fans of the beloved toy line can look forward to a wild night at the theater with Mattel's blonde bombshell. And of course, you know, the thing is no one knows what to expect out of any of that. Right. No one knows what to expect out of that at all. Do you think that Margot Robbie is going to be a good a good person to play Barbie? And yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I, yeah. You're not going to hear me say different on that one. I do believe very much Margot Robbie would be great to play Barbie. But it's, it, and Patty Jenkins would be a good director to do it. But it would have to be a very larger than life tale. It had to be a very larger than life adventure. Otherwise, why do it? What's going to be the purpose of Barbie? Like, is it going to be a Legally Blonde sort of thing? I mean, I know they're they're looking into doing Legally Blonde 3, right? But why is it that they would do, you know, Barbie? What's the story here? Well, the story didn't work over at... The Fish Out of Water story failed to work over at Sony. And so even though I'm sure that the rights have now gone to Warner Brothers, the script probably is just sitting in a drawer somewhere and some writer has been paid for it. Other than that, they're probably going to go back and retool it with their own people. It just seems to make more sense. But if you're going to tell a story of Barbie, especially in today's world, I mean, how would you do it, right? Like, how how would you tell this story? Like, if I were going to sit down and write it, I would write it probably more like uh, a coming-of-age story than I would a fish-out-of-water story. I would write it more like, okay, well, you've got Barbie, and she has this very privileged life. And that we're not talking like overboard, take all of that away sort of thing, because they just remade that with a with a gender flip and that tanked at the box office, even though Anna Ferris is great, uh, you know, but like you'd have to take it all away and have her and have her learn what it's like to be to 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 recognize beauty from within. And that could be something. But then again, those stories have been told time and time and time again. Right. Those stories are not new. That trope is not new. It's the same thing over and over and over again. So why do it? Well, they're going to do it because they don't have any other kind of original idea. And I'm not going to say Patty Jenkins is going to bring an original idea to the story. Barbie is make-believe. Barbie is a toy. You tell your own stories with it. If they wanted to be some poignant take on society and how we view beauty through this, this plastic lens, of which I am against plastic surgery for the most part. I feel a lot of it. I'm not a big fan of any of it. Um, and this is from living in Los Angeles and seeing some really bad plastic surgery. But ultimately, I, I don't see how they're going to do it. I don't see how they're going to play it out. It just feels like they have the property. They got the rights to it. They have a star, a potential director. They want to put the two together and crap out a product that's going to speak to, to, to many young girls out there and just tell them maybe a consumerism story, which is not what they, not what I think either Margot Robbie or Patty Jenkins could want. And if Warner's it doesn't play it smart and doesn't try some type of narrative uh, about, you know, about inner beauty and, and, you know, believing in who you are and says instead tries to sell them on some consumerism crap like uh, like the emoji movie from last year, uh, then it's just going to crash and burn. People are going to see through that. And trust me, I'll be definitely there to make fun of it. But in the meantime, I am cautiously optimistic that Robbie and Patty Jenkins could deliver a product that is OK. Okay, I'm not going to sit there and say it's going to be great. I have no idea. But the two of them together, I think are going to deliver something that would be okay if it happens. But I could be wrong. And this could just be a dumpster fire waiting to happen. And we're just waiting now for that initial match to drop in and have it all blow up. So I put it to you. What do you think? Do you think that this is better now that it's not with Sony or Amy Schumer, that it might actually be a better movie? Or do you think it's still going to be a, a, just a huge mess? 
and we're all going to have fun laughing at it. That, that's my question to you. Uh, let me know down in the comments, especially if you guys made it this far in the video, type Barbie into the chat. I know it's pretty much easy to call at this point, but there's that. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, be sure to thumbs up the video too, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day and peace out.